Sanlam has said it expects the operating environment in the second half of the financial year to remain difficult with weak economic growth in the group's core markets and investment market volatility likely to continue. Earlier today, uh, Google Letu Mfupi spoke to Chief Executive Johan van Seyl to find out more about the company's first half results and its operations. I think the environment is fairly tough. I mean, the consumer is definitely under pressure. We see particularly in the middle market, some end, people in the lower end, end of the market very indebted. Uh, we've seen some of the companies operating in that space, particularly in the retail, struggling. Uh, so we we very very uh, feel very good about the result, being up 23% uh, at the operational level, at the headline earnings level, up 35%. I think is, is is really a good effort in a tough market. Let's take a look at your new business volume. That has taken a bit of a knock. Not too surprising given the fact that there were increased, or rather there was increased competition in the market with the likes of Discovery in short yes. moving up there. But uh, is it consumer pressure as well as increased competition? No, in fact, uh, I'm not sure that our, our numbers are, I think they're up quite nicely. We're up about 20% uh, on overall. Uh, the overall new business flows up in the 30s. Uh, so, uh, quite quite positive, uh, you know. Uh, I think uh, if we look at the future, the business that we're right now, we don't is not part of the operational profit that we make in the life insurance company. You only make profit into the future from what you do now. So that bodes very well for the future. Could we take a look at uh, First Strut, where uh, Sunlam was a rather significant <coughs> investor into that operation? Unfortunately, that company has taken a knock, currently experiencing uh, going through a liquidation. How far is the litigation process there, and are Sunlam uh, provident holders uh, affected? Yes, uh, you know, we had quite a substantial amount of our own money in there, and we've simply written all of it off. And. Uh, uh, as we've communicated to the market at that moment in time. We're now waiting for the, the processes, the legal processes to run out and that may take a year or two even. Just how much exposure did Sunlam have to First Strat? Uh, just over 200 million and all of that's been written off. Has that been provided for? Yeah, it's been written off. Uh, you know, we've written off uh, our investment in that business so we've taken the, the, the knock in the six months. So in spite of that, you know, our, our, our number is still up 23% at the operational level. So uh, things going well. With First Strike going through a liquidation, are you hoping to recoup any of that uh, 200 million that you did? Yes, of course. Uh, the indications are that there will be some recoupment, but it will be relatively small. So it's better to write it off and then see over the next year or two what comes from it. Let's take a look at some of your operations in Africa, managing to perform fairly well. Fairly well. And uh, last week you held your African Cup of Investment Management Conference in Cape Town, where you did make, make mention of the fact that uh, Africa is quite a good place for Sunlam to be. Uh, do you see yourself rolling out into other countries, therefore, for increased operations? Yes, we're in most of the Anglophone or the English-speaking countries uh, for obvious reasons. We understand the language. We can service those countries from Johannesburg. We can, we can make a contribution. We understand the regulatory system. The being the old British one. Uh, so we're in most of these countries and the growth has been phenomenal. I mean, we've been tr tremendously and pleasantly surprised every time, you know, uh, on how good it's going. We aren't quite finished with Sunlam yet. China has been key to helping that group expand into Africa. Gugu asked Johan um, about the potential then that there might be for Sunlam in looking for opportunities in China. We have very little, as a Sunlam, we have very little to contribute into China except money. And, uh, you know, everybody from across the world, generally speaking, have more money than us. So we, we don't place that high on the agenda. We, we find it difficult, or we don't have people to operate in those conditions. And there are simply other jurisdictions where we find it easier. So while China may be massive and big and so forth, I don't think it's for Sunlam. And when you describe China as a positive force or positive influencing force, could you elaborate on that? Yes, uh, China is making substantial investments into Africa and that's great. I mean, uh, it's not the only entity to do so. We see increasingly that the developed world as well, putting money into Africa and so. And Africa is becoming a, 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 a favorite destination for many people and many people would say, you know, we now where you, the, uh, the Asian and Latin American countries were 10, 15 years ago. That was a very focused Johan van Sale, the chief executive of